Lang. Good day. Goeie dag. My name is Winnie Tembu. And my name is Nyaka Lo Scout. And today we'll be showing our city. Let's show you our city. Val, Val Triangle. Triangle. Now we are here in one of the Val Triangle cities, which is Sasolbeck. Sasolbeck is an industrial city which is further subdivided into three places which is Valpark, Sasol proper and Zamdela. Sasol Bank is named after one of the companies in South Africa. This company has employees over 1,100. Now we are at the Sharpville Memorial site. As I said before that during the massacre 69 people died and a sum of 180 people were injured. So these pillars that you see here are the pillars that represent the 69 people that died during the massacre. Let me read some of the names for you. Here we have Ben Nchawupe, who was 49, 45 years. And on this one we have Jacob Ramukwena, that was 35 years old. And here we have Isaac Ramupadi, who was 20 years old. And here we have Isaac Nki, who was 40 years old. So as you see, all of these stones represent the 69 people that suffered and died during the massacre. So now we are inside an exhibit here in Shakville, where it captured the moments in apartheid where people were fighting against their rights. As you can see, these are pictures of the apartheid times capturing the moments of apartheid that took place in Shagville and in the whole of Val Triangle. As you can see here, the violence of the Bloody Monday and the armed hostel dwellers in Sibugain. Everything in the history of Val Triangle and Shagville is in here in this museum. Okay, everyone, we are here with Mr. Lakima Toho, and he's going to tell us more of what he does in the exhibit and everything else about the exhibit that we didn't cover. Thank you very much. Uh, like like you say, my name is Lakima Toho. I was born and bred in Shaville. I'm, I'm what we call a Shaviologist. A Shaviologist would be somebody who's interested whose all is, is, is on that particular township. You know, the development that you'd like to see in that township, everything else, that's me. But here at the exhibition center, I'm the tour guide. 
it's my job to receive international and local uh, tourists and tell them about the history of this place and the history of this exhibition center in particular. Because Chaville, Chaville is the most historic township in the country. I, I, I must even be compelled to say in the world because no other township in the in the world has ever enjoyed the has, has ever had what we what we experienced as, as civilians. For instance, two times in a row, the United Nations General Assembly said, and on the agenda there was only one item and one item only: Chaville. No other township in the world can ever claim to have had that experience. But having said that, this place was built on on the on the on the field, this was an open field at that time. During the mass murder of our people on that Monday, the 21st of March in the year of our Lord, 1960, what happened was the the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania issued out a national a nationwide call to say all black people in the country leave your pass books at home, go to the nearest police station and submit yourself up for arrest. The idea here was to overwhelm the prison system. In many townships, people gathered but were dispersed by the police. But in Chaville and notably in Langa, in the Eastern Cape, people converged and ultimately there was bloodshed and pe many people had died on that day. Six years later, in 1960, the United Nations General Assembly convened and uh, on the agenda there was only one item, which was Chaville. That's when apartheid was declared as a crime against humanity. It's a very historic, it's a very historic uh, feat, that one. Uh, again, in 1994, in 1984, uh, I beg your pardon, 85. In 1985, the United Nations General Assembly again converged, and because of the killings, again, that were perpetrated by the apartheid government against our, the onslaught against our people at that time, they decided to again sit and when the first time they declared in 1966, they declared apartheid as a crime against humanity. This time around, they they vowed to continue the embargo, the um, the, 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 the what is sanctions against apartheid South Africa. That's when apartheid South Africa was being was began to be isolated from all fronts in politics, in sports, in arts and culture, and so on and so on and so on. Until we had the breakthrough that we did have on that Tuesday, the 27th of April in the year of our Lord, 1994. Hence I'm saying, Chaville is the beginning and the end of the struggle for freedom in this country. Thank you. Yo, as you've heard, that is a lot of information to comprehend, but it's very, very interesting. For you to understand everything, you'll have to come back to Chaville and see it for yourself. Thank you. The Val Triangle has two universities, and now we are here at the Northwest University. Northwest University is one of the third largest universities in South Africa. It has three campuses, which is Mafikeng, Porsche's Room, and the Val Triangle. Northwest University has been recently ranked as one of the safest universities in the country. And now I am with... You're with Tirofato. Tirofato, how long have you been studying at the Northwest University and which course are you doing? I've been studying here for four years and I'm studying Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Okay, Tirofato. So since you are studying here, which experience do you have? What can you say about this place? Well, Northwest University is very organized. Everyone is kind and I recommend it to anyone who wants to apply. So, Tsikhofato, as you heard, the university has been ranked as one of the safest universities in the country. Whenever you are here, do you feel safe? Of course, I definitely feel safe and I agree. Okay, Tsikhofato, so you heard for yourself. You, if you want to further your studies, the Northwest University in Val Triangle is the place for you.
my name is Tisezo and we are here at the Vaal River. Yes, this river is known to be one of the best tourist attractions in South Africa. This river, the Vaal River, divides two provinces known as the Gauteng and the Free State. That was our city everyone, Val Triangle. So if you wanna come to our city, come this, come this, Bekele Beke in the Val Triangle. Thank you. <laughs>